My name is Brent Weinbach, and this is Remote Control. Okay, well, here you go. This is, uh, oh, it's published by High Tech Expressions. Who made it? I thought it was, I thought it was maybe developed by them. But, uh, MTV's Remote Control. I don't know, so, I mean, this is the third in the series of TV game show based games that I've been playing here. And I hope this theme is not getting old, but I will, uh, this will be the last. I don't have any other game show games that I plan on playing after this. So, you know, if you're getting kind of sick of this and getting sick of trivia and stuff like that, well, this will be the last one. Um, but, uh, yeah, so on MTV, MTV Music Television, um, they, uh, they had this this game show and it was called Remote Control and I think Ken Ober was the host and the sidekick character was Colin Quinn and they also had other comedians that would um, make appearances on the show um, Adam Sandler and others and um, and yeah this game came out uh, came out sometime before the pandemic. It was um, 1989, I think, that this game came out. But I think the show on TV started also before the pandemic, and it was, um, I think it was 1987. And I think the show ran from 87 to 90 or something like that. But, um, so it's basically a pop culture trivia show um, that was... You know, it was focused on um, TV, obviously, as the name would imply. Focused on TV, but it was about music as well, and I think movies. Um, and uh, I had the I had a home version of this game back then. It was um, it was pretty neat. It had this big TV and. The, the, you know, you could pick the different channels on the TV, and you could you would slide different cards in the into the TV to be the different categories for the different rounds you wanted to do. And um, <clears throat> anyway, yeah, uh, it, uh, that was kind of oh yeah, and you, it gave you these you got these little remote controls too with the home game, and they made cl- clicking noises when you press down on them, so that was kind of neat. You didn't even need to do that, too, the clicking noises. Or, I don't know, maybe maybe they were supposed to act as buzzers. But, um, yeah. So, uh, let's see here. By the way, this piece of music is going to play throughout the entire game, I think. I think you're going to... This is a short game. It's very easy, so I'm taking my time here. Um... What are these? Oh, is that popcorn popping around? What is that? Some kind of pop? Those little, those bed bugs? What is that? I guess that's got to be popcorn. It must be, it must be some sort of popcorn. I think it's popping around and stuff. But people don't really watch. They don't really eat popcorn when they watch TV, right? That's more of a movie thing. Even if you're at home and you're gonna put something in the microwave, people aren't really eating popcorn while they watch MacGyver, right? Or what? I mean, have you ever seen somebody eating popcorn while they're watching Kojak? I mean, maybe if they're going to show a movie on TV, such as The Goonies or something, people might, they might. But to me, it seems like, you know, I don't know. You're not going to eat popcorn watching TV. I don't know. Did anyone ever watch TV and eat popcorn? I'm talking watching TV, not a movie on TV. Oh, you want, okay, so, well, look, there, somebody says they watched Rally Spirits as they watched, let, they watched Letterman, they watched the, that singing group, the Letterman, and they, uh, ate popcorn to that. Um, I guess if a horror movie is playing on, uh, TV, 
or if it's a horror night or something like that, people might do popcorn to that, maybe, but, um, you know that group, The Letterman? Well, you know how there's that, that group called the Jackson 5, and they do the song ABC? Well, don't you think that song would have been better suited for The Letterman? I mean, it's called ABC, and they're called The Letterman. I mean, uh, it just seems like that would make sense, you know? Anyway, one of the singers that's in The Letterman, named Gary Pike, he was in a video that I made called The Money... Uh, it's called Money Line, I think it's called. And uh, it's a hotline you can call if you want to ask people for money. You don't get money. You just, if you want the experience of asking rich people for money, you can call the line, and it's it's five dollars a minute, basically. Four ninety nine, actually, but that's not including tax. Um, hey, you know what? I guess hey, if you want to eat popcorn and, and watch this while you watch this, watch me play MTV's Remote Control. Eat popcorn, and you can play along at home too if you want. This is going to be a lot easier than Jeopardy because it's multiple choice. But uh, what I was going to say was, uh, um, I kind of lost my train of thought because I started looking at the comments to see what I should and should not respond to. No, I'm just kidding. I don't, I'm not looking for anything to not respond to. But um, what was I talking about actually? Something about popcorn or uh, oh, the money line. So if you look at the money line, you can find that on youtube.com slash Brian Weinbach. Um, the, uh, there's, the, so this guy, Gary Pike, who is in The Letterman, The Letterman, um, he is the sort of host of this video that I made. And it looks like he's standing in front of a green screen or something like that, or a blue screen. Um, but he is, but he is not. That is a, a real location, but for some reason the lighting made it look like he was in front of a green screen. He's sit, standing on a balcony, and there's a, a view in the background. It looks it looks kind of fake, but it's real. Just that's a little tidbit, a little inside tidbit for anybody who's interested. Let's see. So Manatree says, if I need to ask for money, then I can't afford 4.99 per minute. Well, yeah, I guess so. I guess that, yeah, I guess that could be the joke there, I think. I guess that could very well be the joke. Um, well, let's see, let's start this, let's kind of start this off a little bit. MTV's remote control. I mean, look, I love TV, all right? Well, I love TV in the 80s, is the thing. And, well, that's uh, that's about it. I like TV show theme songs. and They don't have any good TV show theme songs anymore. If I ever could make my own TV show, that would be my dream. And I would, I would have a, a good TV show theme song for it. I want to do a sitcom. I want, I want to do a multicam family sitcom with me as the dad. That's the dream right there. Um, well, actually, and I want, I want it to be the pacing and everything for this show to be as if it was in the 1980s, but I don't want it to take place in the, the 80s, you know, it takes place now, you know, um, but, uh, but I would like the promos for the show to seem like that was 80s as well, but. I mean, the 80s were the best. I mean, come on. Can, can we all agree? I mean, that was the best decade of all decades, right? I wish... I kind of wish that... I wish that... In, a, in some ways, I kind of wish things never changed and there was things were still 80s, you know? Um, yeah. I mean, it would have been weird, you know, for this pandemic to happen if we didn't have things that we... Or if we didn't have... The things that we didn't have in the 80s but we wouldn't know about those things so we wouldn't be complaining about it i don't think
Sorry, I'm not talking because I'm just reading these, these things. It's hard to read and talk at the same time, kind of. No, but I like the styles, too. I like the styles, and I kind of like... I don't know, people didn't have tattoos as much back in the 80s. I, I kind of like that, you know? Um. Alright, I'm going to press start. What do you say? What do you say I press start here? Look at all that... I mean, is that popcorn? It doesn't even seem like it, because it's, it's, they're going back and forth. Popcorn doesn't do that. The, popcorn doesn't go back and forth like that. It just pops up. Why is it crawling around like that? Why is that popcorn crawling around like that? Huh? Look at that. They're going back and forth like that, crawling around. What's going on? Kind of reminds me of Kira Kira Star Knight, actually. DX. Yeah, I, I hear you. The simplicity um, before before social media and smartphones. I think these are animals. I think those are little animals. They gotta be little animals. I think they're little beetles or something like that. I think this is some sort of prequel to Beetle Adventure Racing. I think Beetle Adventure Racing for Nintendo 64 was a spin-off of this, of this game, I think. I'm gonna press start, okay? All right, so we're gonna pick a character here. What do you think? I mean, so this guy right here, he's definitely got some... He's really got two... He almost looks like a rabbit, doesn't he? He's, his teeth and his nose makes him look like a rabbit. He's some sort of rabbit. I mean, not his ears, but... What's a rabbit that doesn't have long ears? Is it uh, something else? Is, what, what kind of animal would that be? You know? He looks like a rabbit. I just think he looks like a rabbit. He's like a rabbit boy, I think. A rabbit boy. Oh yeah, there were pro those were probably fleas, definitely. Yeah, in a reference to the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Um, yeah, he's probably doing rabbit face, I think. So a squirrel is a, a rabbit with not with short ears, I guess, or something like that. Oh, he does look kind of like a rat. He's a rat boy. He's a he's some sort of animal boy, but he's definitely got that edgy look with his spiked black hair, doesn't he? He's kind of an edgy kind of rodent of sorts, you know. Let's see. Now this one right here, this is looking like some kind of Daria kind of something or other. I don't know. This is looking like a dar more mature Daria, you know, kind of. This is. I mean, she definitely, I feel like she, I feel like this woman goes to Toastmasters. And I, I mean, or I think she wants to go to Toastmasters. She's, I think she's trying to get, she's trying to apply to Toastmasters, I think. She's trying to get into Toastmasters one day, I think. You guys know Toastmasters? What about Toastmasters Flex? You ever do that? Um... Let's see what else. Okay, now this woman right here. Hmm. This almost kind of looks like Michael Jackson. I'm not even kidding, actually. Michael Jackson with a different hair, hairdo. Actually, if the hair was black, that would be Michael Jackson. From the bad era, I feel like. Don't you think? Kind of looks like Michael. Hi, little one. Hi, hi little ones. <laughs> um... Oh, I, my, I had an uncle that was in Toastmasters also. Everybody's uncle goes to Toastmasters, I feel like, right? Hi, pick me, Brent. Hey, hi, little one. Pick me, and you won't be sorry. It's me, Michael. I don't think that's even a girl. I think it's Michael. Um, she's excited though. She's kind of psycho though. All right, she's t this is a total surfer right here. I mean, this this girl hangs out on the beach. And wait a second, she almost has the same exact face too. Actually, look at that. What is a single white female right here? Oops. Look at that. They almost have the same face, same nose, same Michael Jackson nose. 
kind of the, almost the same mouth, not quite. Single white female right here, but she's hanging out at the beach and she's gnarly as heck. I think that this game is meant to be kind of, uh, it's, I mean, it's definitely sarcastic in a lot of ways, and I think it's meant to be kind of twisted. I mean, it's MTV, what do you expect, you know what I mean? It's got attitude. It's got a bit of an attitude, and it's, it's kind of edgy, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? They're also, I think, meant to be a bit kind of demented looking, I think. This also kind of looked like Michael Jackson, I, I feel like, in a way. It's kind of like Michael Jackson if he were a pirate. You know, on a pirate ship. But it's actually kind of looking like a Joan... It's like Joan Jett. It's, it's as if Joan Jett and Michael Jackson were in the movie The, the Fly. And their cells kind of got rearranged and stuff. And they combined into one. Or something like that. Basically, I think this is what happened. Joan Jett was going to go into this, the transfer thing from the fly, and when she went in, this Michael Jackson flew in there, they didn't know, and then some cells got mixed up, and this is the result right here. Now this guy is so, I mean, this guy's truly a new wave, new romantic. This guy's a newer 80s new romantic guy right here with his cheekbones and everything. I mean, he's definitely wearing some sort of makeup and stuff. This guy, he's, I mean, this guy's gotta be, I think this guy plays keyboards for Visage. I think. I think he plays, I think he played keyboards for Visage or, I, or he was, he played backup synthesizers for John Fox, F-O-X-X. -X. That guy kind of reminds me of a guy I, I worked with once, who in fact was in a video that I made called The Hunk Chat Line. So if you watch that video, you might see something that looks a little like that. Actually, that guy looks the way... I posted this ad, made this video called Ultimate German Technique. UltimateGermanTechnique.com if you want to see it, but beware, it's, uh, there's stuff in it. And um, we put a Craigslist ad out, and someone referred... To, they responded to the ad, and I kind of said, oh, you need to be... you might need to be naked. Or not might be, you, you have to be naked for the video. And um, the person responded, and they said... Uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a, let's see what they say, they said, they said they had a tight body or something, but they said they had a nice bubble butt, I think. Anyway, he looked like that. And I ended up working with that guy on one occasion and then two occasions. Meaning, I, I, twice. He was, he got, he was in something that I was in and then he was in one of my videos too. Anyway. He looked like that. But also that guy does look like he plays in, in the band Visage, I think. Maybe he is John Fox himself, actually. Ooh, look at this guy. This guy's got his, he's got his stunner shades on here. So are those considered to be Oakleys right there? If anybody listens to the podcast, The Poundcast, um, I think on the most recent episode, I came up with a jingle for the brand Oakley sunglasses. And uh, I kind of forgot how it goes, but then here's a variation on it. It goes like this. It goes, Oh, please. Like that. And the idea is that monks, Gregorian monks would be... Uh, would be putting them on when I say ease or sing ease and yeah it's for Gregorian monks to you know shade their eyes from the sun after they've been in the monastery for a long time and then here's a variation oh please 
So that's a pretty good jingle, I think, for them, right? Um, so, uh, but that guy, those are Oakleys, right, that he's wearing, I think? Um, he's, this guy's definitely got the, you know, he's, you know, he's wearing sunglasses inside and stuff, okay. You can see a clip of that, by the way, on youtube.com slash thepoundcast. Oh, this guy looks like a kind of a bit of a problem child. You know, this this looks like the sequel to Problem Child, Problem Adult. I know there's a Problem Child too, but it's or pro Problem Man. <laughs> we, I, I, my my friends and I had thought of this, or somebody I don't know, someone in my friend group thought of the idea of a sequel to Problem Child or a, a reboot of Problem Child, and it's called Problem Man. But that doesn't quite. It should be Problem Adult if it's following the logic of it being child, but. Problem man sounds better than problem adult, you know. But doesn't that, this guy looks like he, it looks as though he's wearing suspenders, but maybe that's just his collar. But this guy looks like a, um, he's kind of like a punk that wears, you know, suspenders and is, does trouble. But he, he's a punk who kind of resembles a nerd, you know what I mean? You know those kind of punks that they kind of dress nerdy, but they're actually edgy punks? That's what he kind of looks like. I mean, this guy's got kind of a interesting haircut in a way. I mean, yeah, he he probably it was played in the band Madness. I think this guy right here. What do we have going on here? All right, let's see. All right, I think so. That's everybody. I think. Who do I pick? To be honest, I'm kind of like I like I know that Cami and. Guma loosely didn't like this woman, but I I kind of like her actually. She's kind of my top pick right now. Uh, I, actually, this one's pretty good too. This guy's so sickly looking. I kind of like that too. But he's wearing a hooded sweatshirt though. You know, this guy can't kind of dressed up. He's all wearing his hooded sweatshirt. I mean, that guy's pretty good too. This guy's looking like he plays. He's in. Power Blade or something like that. That's, this is the guy from Shatterhand right here. Shatterhand and Power Blade right here. I mean, this guy's pretty good too, but I kind of like this the most, you know? I'm kind of liking this. Okay, so what, what are we going to... Hey, all right, here's what we're narrowing it down to. Maybe we'll do a poll, okay? You guys want to do a poll? Um, and by the way, like, oh, you know what? Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, hold on a second. Like, uh, I think you get to, sh it shows you their expressions if what it looks like when they win or lose and stuff. Do you want to see those to help make the decision as to who to pick? Look, this is the, if she gets it right, she looks like this. That's pretty good. I like that. I like that. That's a good big smile. And her eyebrows are kind of just really... Her eyebrows are surrendering, but her mouth is is winning. That's her upset face. <laughs> pretty good. I like that. I think that's pretty good. Let's let's see what Michael this Michael Jackson looks like. Oh wow, that okay. So that's the uh, that's the that's the happy face. That's the upset face. Ooh, that looks kind of really interesting. That's that almost looks like some sort of. Uh, a Van Gogh or something like that kind of painting. It looks like some kind of painting or something. It's kind of interesting. Look at that. She's like, hmm, what you talking about? She's like, what you talking about, Willis? That's what it looks like. She's kind of looking like, what you, what you talking about, Mr. Drummond? But look at that. That is really something. Let's see the surfer here. That's the upset look right there. Uh, 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 oh, I got it wrong. And then this one's like, ah, yeah, I got it right. Oh, I got it wrong? Ah, oh, yeah, I got it right. That's how that is. Let's see this one. This one's... It looks like she almost has a, a big teardrop coming off her eyes. That's her upset look. It's not that different, actually. Look at this. I can do this. Look at that. 
They're sold for $200. Look at that. That's a big smile. Now that is looking kind of Michael right there, actually. Uh, oh, you doing it? You're saying if we should do a poll? Um, I'm already kind of making a decision here, but let's see. Oh, let's see what this guy looks like. When he's sorry, I'm kind of not. I'm neglecting the comments right now because I'm kind of so fixated on these people's faces here. This is when he's happy. Look at this guy. Wow, he's really. Look at that. Look at this. What happened? This is when he's upset. He goes like this. It's almost like he's snort. He's kind of uh, snort. Snarl. What is it? Snarling? Is that a word? Snarling or something like that? He's like something like that. Look at that smile. He's so big. Look at this guy right here. That's pretty good, I guess. His upset look, though, is well. He's definitely looking sour-faced right there. His face is about to come off, actually. Look, it almost looks like it's a mask. A mask is going to come off his... I think he's wearing a mask. Because when he's upset, it the mask almost comes off. I, th I think underneath, it probably looks like somebody. It probably looks like Eric Stoltz. This guy's delighted, right, when he gets it right. He's so delighted. Look at his eyes light up. Oh, I'm so delighted. He actually kind of looks like Ed Grimley, kind of, doesn't he? Ed Grimley. Except he doesn't have a spike on his hair. Though. That's his upset look. And then this guy right here. He doesn't look as much like a rodent anymore when he does that. But Oh, wow. I do like that guy's upset face. It's pretty good. <laughs> I mean, look at that. What is that? <laughs> he just goes, oh. I mean, look at that face. That is kind of funny. I mean, it, maybe he's saying to himself, Oh, I, I can't really read it that good. I can't really read it that well. That's why I have to squint my eyes like that. But, come on, that's pretty good. You get it right? I mean, it's looking like that. That's pretty good. Come on. I mean, that's a good upset face. I mean, you gotta admit, right? Honestly, I had it narrowed down to three people at a certain point, but now after seeing all their facial expressions, I... I'm now, I don't know what to do. I mean, they're all they are all looking so good to me. I mean, first of all, this, for me right now, this is my number one pick, but she's definitely in the mix. His upset face looks good to me. I mean, that's, that's looking pretty good. I, that makes him eligible, I think. Um, I kind of like this guy too, sort of, yeah. And then, look, the glasses guy could be in the mix. Actually, John Fox can be in the mix. Uh, we can leave Joan Jett out of it, I think. Surfer, we can leave her out of it. Michael, leave her out of it. Yeah, all right, all right. So it would be down to Toastmasters, uh, Rodent, uh, I don't know, P Punk, Madness, we'll call him Madness, and Power Blade, and John Fox. Who are we going to pick? I don't even know. Look, I I'm, I'm really, I'm, I, for me, this is my pick, but if you want to do a poll, we can do a poll. I mean, this is going to be, I mean, oh, whoever set up the poll, it doesn't matter. Oh, Green Shades is winning? Come on, let's go, let's, come on, guys, let's get, let's get, oh yeah, Problem Man, that's his name. I, come on, we got to get Glasses Girl, she's the best one, look, look at her, look at her, she's the best. I can't believe Green Shades is winning, come on, guys, let's get Glasses Girl, let's get Glasses Girl. She's the best. Look at her. Look at her facial expressions. Look at how big that smile is, and it's right in there. Oh, it's the best. And then look at her face. It's so expressive when she's upset. Oh, we're getting. Oh, it's it's really close right now. It's between. It's really. Oh, actually, rat face is getting good too. Actually, there's a lot. Okay, it's a it's a three way. It's coming up on a three way tie. We have half the amount of time left to pick. So, um, it's so far actually, Green Shades and Glasses Girl are in the lead, both with six votes each, and then there's five vo votes for Ratface, so they're all kind of in the game right now. 
we'll see who wins. Time's running out though. There's only about a quarter of the time left now. I mean, let's get some more votes in here, huh? I just love that big smile of hers and then that upset face. I mean, that, so wait, it's wrote, it was, it was, who is it again? Oh yeah, glass, green glasses guy? I mean, that's green glasses guy. And then it's, but then what, that's not a great upset face, except for that it does look like he has a mask on and it's gonna come off maybe one day. Uh, let's see what we get going here. Oh man, Green Shades is now up to seven. He's He's got seven votes and there's six votes to Glasses Girl. Okay, Green Shades won. All right, well, Green, you guys really want that? I mean, look, he doesn't even do much. I mean, look at it. He just, all he does is smile, you know? He can't even see his eyes, you know? And then this just looks like his face is gonna come off, you know? It's like face off. It's, he's looking like, it's like John Travolta right here, you know? Oh, wait, what did Phil Braun want to... Phil Braun wanted to... Oh, okay, Phil Braun, if you could have voted, would you have voted for this? The, this guy making these expressions? Or would you vote for this making these expressions right here, you know? Oh, Phil Braun says he would vote for the glasses. So that makes it kind of a tie, and I guess I could be the tiebreaker, I guess. So I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. This game is really short and really easy, so we'll play through with this one for, oh, we got a new poll, really? Oh, I mean, we don't need to do another poll, we can just, oh, okay, I guess we could just do this poll, I guess, if you want, but, um, I mean, there's a new poll up if you got, want to, if you missed out on voting before and you want to get your vote in, I mean, you know. By the way, speaking of voting, um, ah, I, shouldn't, I shouldn't say this. I, <clears throat> as a as an entertainer, um, I don't really like to I don't like to talk about politics at all because I feel that's not really my duty, you know. But I just want to say though, only because I think it would be entertaining, is um, I well, it doesn't matter. I was gonna I was just gonna was gonna briefly touch on the recall and or the the. Uh, the almost recall, well not even almost recall, but the, the voting on the recall that happened recently in California. Um, I would look, I, whatever, I, I mean, I voted no, right? But, you know, you, you were allowed to vote, vote for a, a backup choice in case the recall happened. And I voted for Angeline. And the reason why I voted for Angeline is because I just thought, I just thought that would have been interesting if... Angeline was the governor of California. I just think about that and I Whatever it's too late. Actually. It's too late. It's too late to I mean Well, I'm, I'm glad I didn't say this before the election, but I would have encouraged everybody to vote for Angeline because of two reasons one That'd be kind of just funny to have Angeline as the governor. I mean think about it Angeline and um, And then I and then on top of that it didn't. It didn't really feel like the recall was warranted, which is why I voted no. Um, and so I think that Angeline being governor would have been a good punishment for the people who did get the recall election started. You know, it would have been okay. You didn't want Gavin Newsom. Okay, well now your now your governor is going to be Angeline. So now how do you like that? You know, I kind of would have liked them to have to have Angeline after that, and I would have been fine with it too. By the way. Um, so anyway, I don't, I'm not trying to be all, oh, you vote for Angeline also? AD Wonder? Hey, I'm not trying to be political. I don't, I'm not about politics. I don't try to do that. You know, I don't want to divide anybody or anything like that. I want to unify people with laughs. That's all, you know, unify people with laughs and, 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 you know, cool, fun stuff that everybody can relate to. I don't want to divide anybody, but it would have been cool if Angel. I would have been fine with Angeline being the governor, especially because... You know, it would have been a good consequence for getting that, I think, for, you know, doing the election in the first place, you know. Um, hey, if you want to check something out from um, Angeline, there's she has a song called, uh, she has a song called uh, 
my list. Okay, you can watch the music video for it on YouTube. And I'll tell you that um, this guy is in the video. This green glasses guy, he's in the video. And I think this guy, this the rude boy is in the video as well. No, maybe not actually. Actually, just this guy. This guy's the only guy in the video. But anyway, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. This is what's going to happen. We'll play first with this woman here. She's not a girl. She's a woman, okay? And then I'll play again. We'll play with the gl green glasses guy. But he's not going to be making expressions like this. Look at that. Look at that face. All right, let's play with this. Now, oh, whoops, what happened here? Um, why does it say Freddy, though? There's gotta be a way to change that Freddy thing. Hold on a second, let me figure this out. How do I do that? How do I change the name on here? It ought not to be Freddy, right? Oh, there, oh, here it goes. Oh, I can change it like this. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. Well, that was, okay, the default name was Freddy, but I think maybe something else, you know? How about Freeze? It's like almost like Freak, but it's almost like Freak, but it's with a Z though. Freeze. Oops. How about freeze? How about Frieza, actually? Frieza. That's pretty good. Right? Frieza Kahlo. What do you think? What should be the name here? Frieza. 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 Oh yeah, you know Frieza from Toastmasters, right? Um, all right, by the way, it's going to be, I'm not going to be able to look at the comments coming up now because it's going to, hey, look, that rodent is in there, actually. All right, so I can pick a channel here. Let's start with, let's start with CBS, channel two. Oh, Mary Tyler Moore. Oh, I wouldn't know this. I wouldn't know this. It's not Ted Knight, that's for sure. Oh, I should... See, the problem is if they buzz in, they, they're gonna, they get it wrong oftentimes. Oh, really? Oh, he... What? Oh, Ted Knight did die before that? I didn't realize that. The reason I thought that, I was thinking that maybe they, they died during the show, but I guess not, because I was thinking Too Close for Comfort, you know, happened after the Mary Tyler Moore show, and uh, I guess he got it right. And I thought... And I was thinking, well, obviously he didn't die. Let's see. I couldn't tell you right here. She got it wrong. The problem with this game is that the, the other guy, people, oh, he got it right. Um, this game's going to move too quick. I can't talk this much, actually. It's moving too quickly here. I don't really like this category, though. But anyway, my point was that because Too Close for Comfort came out after the Mary Tyler Moore show, then I thought maybe he didn't die. But I just missed thought. I just didn't think of that correctly. I'm not paying attention to the question right now. I got it. Okay. See, they just gave me the answer right now, unfortunately. Look at her smiling, though. Look at that smile. You don't get that with anybody else. Look at his faces, though. Look at their faces. Alright, I mean, it's kind of cheap how I got that just now. Let's do NBC here, Channel 4. Oh, All in the Family. Okay. Alright. This Blong Hunts one. Okay, well, Mike's friend who enjoyed painting pictures of women, but he's better known as half Starsky and Hutch. Oh, I couldn't tell you this. I couldn't tell you this. Well, I, now it's a 50 50 chance. I could get it 50 50 chance. I mean, see, they just they give it to you. It's so easy. I mean, th that's the problem with this game is they get it wrong oftentimes and they'll eliminate all the answers. They should have done four. See, look, look how super, they, it's, look how uh, sarcastic this show is, you know. By the way, there's a timer on this, so we, if we want to get to all the categories, 
Let's try channel three. This is the channel to play Nintendo. Dr. Blister, okay. It's the evil doctor, okay. Celebrity rumors, okay, this is some juicy gossip right here. I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you. Well, you learn something new every day. By the way, the host doesn't seem to resemble the host from... Uh, oh, look, that guy... By the way, they named him Susan, by the way. That's kind of shit. I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you, Rhoda. Rhoda's a spinoff. See, look at how you see that they just insulted him. There's a lot of there's a lot of zingers in this game. It's 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 a it's a sarcastic game. I mean, it's you know it's. All right. Oh, I can probably know this. Um, uh, it's got to be. No, I messed that up. I guess it's all in the family. No, it's a Mary Tyler Moore, obviously. Oh my gosh, he picked Mash also? Oh my gosh. It's I, I, I knew I don't know why I didn't pick Mary Tyler Moore, obviously. I, I I would obviously that. Obviously. Hey, that's kinda neat though, the MTV logo, it's the way that's going right now. It's it's kinda neat, yeah. Susan. I mean I, this is not my area of expertise here, you know? I'm just gonna go for this right here. No, I don't know. I just went for it, you know. I want to get a topic here that's that I know. Here, you know? These are... I mean, Susan, you know, Susan the rodent. She's just really, you know, really winning here. A snarl. Remember, I said snarl earlier. Okay, I know this one. Lots of peroxide. That's because he bleached his his butt crack. That's why. I mean, it, it's hard to read everything. You know, what I mean, it's hard to do commentary on this because everything is going so quickly. Uh, I kind of like this category. Let's see. Oh. Oh, oh, I know this. Morris Day in the Time. Morris Day in the Time, Jungle Love. That's the song that goes, you know, oh, we, oh, yo. Know, I mean, by the way, I mean, this is just a bonus for you. You can be looking at his his little quips at you and stuff. He kind of insults you and stuff. If you want to, oh, looking up channel number seven, ABC. Video High. 40-year-old actors. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Dang. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't have got that. I wouldn't have got that. I wasn't even thinking I wouldn't have got that. But, you know, my man Ki Kwan, you know, Data from from uh, Goonies, he was in he was in Head of the Class. know this oh I mean I guess I don't know it actually. oh no no it must be oops I'm wrong I didn't I didn't even answer is the thing he must be he it had to have been from India I didn't even, I didn't pick Thailand by the way I was gonna go to India but I just I ran out of time is the thing Oh, the Cartoon Channel. Now this I could do. By the way, this character was um, not the first. Was well, he wasn't the first. He was Warner Brothers mascot. You know. 
He wasn't the first mascot. Oh, that was Popcorn, I guess. Or maybe that's just tr those are rappers from different things. Yeah. We got a commercial break here. Okay, here's a commercial break, you know, remote control, MTV. Um, I can't stop this game, that's the thing, is there's nothing... Let's start with Channel 9 here. Um, I guess, I wonder if I... I think that there's a timer on these rounds, that's why I can't stop to talk here. Oh, I think I know this. It's gotta be Captain Lou, I think. Captain Lou Albino. What was this category again? Oh, Flab TV. So it's all about big people, this Flab TV. It's about bigger people. I kind of like that category. Let's see. Let's see what else there is. Is it, is it going to be like a John Candy thing here or something? I know this. Yeah, Christopher Hewitt. My sister claims that we saw him at... at uh, Rite Aid, which at the time was known as Thrifty, Th or we called it Thrifties. <sighs> but um, I, I just think that if I don't, if I don't pick this, I'm gonna run out of time here, and I want to, you know, give you as many questions as possible here. And uh, anyway, I'm the one who spotted him. I said, "Hey, look, it's Mr. Belvedere," and but I, I knew it wasn't him though. Oh, I wouldn't know who died first on this. Um, mm. But uh, anyway, she believed that it was him. But I, 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 I made, I put that idea in her head that it was him. And to this day, she's still convinced that it was him. And, and even I believed it at one point. I used to go around saying, oh yeah, I saw Mr. Belvedere at Thrifty's. He was buying Preparation H. Hmm. I, I was going to say my three sons. I was going to say that. Anyway, uh, I, re I, decided, I realized at one point I was lying to myself. It wasn't Mr. Belvedere. That's interesting. I wouldn't have thought. Oh, that's interesting. Three Stooges. I wouldn't have thought that. Um, and I realized I was lying to myself about that. That wasn't really Mr. Belvedere. I just wanted it to be Mr. Belvedere. And but my sister doesn't. She still thinks it's him. I couldn't tell you. I. It makes sense that it was in Manhattan. I mean. It makes sense, but then I thought maybe it was a quirky thing where it would take place in a different borough. You know? Oh, this is my this is my jam here. Oh, come on, easy, easy money, easy money. I mean, come on, full house. I'm a full house master, okay. That was easy money. Let's go again on that. Ha, huh, another Mr. Belvedere question? I know this one, too. Although, I thought he was a sports announcer, though. I thought he was a sports announcer. Look at this, swollen and throbbing? What's that all about? I mean, you don't like that face of hers? Come on, now. Oh no, this is gonna be up at the Brady Bunch, I think. Uh, 
Ah, I kind of know that. I kind of forgot. It's probably the silver platters, but I'm not willing to guess this. Fine, I'll do it. I thought I thought it was the silver platters, and I got it. Uh. Okay, I'm not. I don't really want that Brady Bunch business. Even though I watched a lot of Brady. Oh, Kitty TV. This is something we could do. Um. Are they ref when they say wooden people? Are they referring to? Uh, Up as the earlier that's kind of funny. Um, you know, um, did you know, uh, what's the guy in you know, Bobby's World, uh, Howie Mandel? You know, he did a voice, he did voices on Muppet Babies. I just found that out recently, I didn't know that. Oh, that's easy. Um, yeah, and, uh, I mean, this would be better if, uh, this one's better to not play with a computer, you know? What? I don't know this show, actually. I don't know that. The New Zoo Review. I'm saying, make me think of Zoobly Zoo. Remember Zoobly Zoo? Oh, okay, now this, I watched a ton of this show. Yeah, he's the first mate to the captain. To the skipper, that is, the skipper. I kind of, you know, I kind of wanted to be Gilligan when I was younger, when I was a kid. Hmm. I think it's an earthquake. I kind of like this Gilligan's Island category. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, it's it's the last round. She's gonna get blown away. They kind of basically did that in the in the actual TV show, but they would go into the wall. Another one bites the dust, that's Queen. Okay, lightning round. This is kind of fun here, all right? This is a fun one, but... Uh, eight, 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 eight. It's hard to get, it's hard to get up there. It's too hard to get down there. Uh, it's hard to get down there. It's... I mean, it's just... It's hard to move down there, but it's kind of fun, though. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Instead of MTV, it's just, it's M that woman. Yeah. Okay, well, there you go. That's the game. I know there's not much to it. And that's why we kind of took a while to get there, but, you know. I mean, look, we can do it again. We can play another one if you want, you know. Let me see what kind of comments. I couldn't look at the comments this entire time, pretty much. So, let's, let me scroll up here and see what's, what I missed. I mean, I don't know. Maybe this wasn't the best game to pick because it's kind of so... You know, I don't know, it's so short and stuff. Uh... 
I'm just looking at these other comments here. Um, yeah, I mean, look, it's not... Uh, I don't know, maybe it doesn't even matter. It's irrelevant for me to re respond to any stuff at this point, I think, but... Anyway, um... So, I'm just reading the comments here, sorry, I know it's kind of boring, I guess, right now, but, um... Uh, yeah, I'll, I mean, look, I think we could probably have time to play this at least two, two more times, you know? Uh, <laughs> what if I did play, I should just play Time Lord at one point, but, but I don't want anybody to tell me how to beat a certain part of it, though. I'm afraid of that happening, you know? Um... Anyway, uh, so, uh, well, Colin Quinn was on the show called Saturday Night Live. Is this show on Saturdays? And, um, by the way, did you hear that ding, ding, ding? That's supposed to be the little lights kind of shining. It's, it's supposed to shine so bright on the remote control sign that that's what you're hearing. You're hearing ding, ding, ding. Watch. Look at that, ding, ding, ding. It's it's really sparkling so bright it makes that noise, you know. Oh boy, Alberto. Um, Mark Marin. Mark Marin was on Air America, you know, the radio show. Yeah, Adam Sandler was on here. I think Dennis Leary might have been on here and stuff or whatever. They had a lot of people on here. But Mark Maron, though? He was on Air America with Ginny Garofalo. Um, yeah, I played through Shiny Force 2. Um, what about... Oh, I got an idea for Colin Quinn. How about somebody named Colin Skin? Colin Skin. You know? It's Colin Quinn after dark. Colin Skin. Um, okay, so what do you want to do? You want to play this again? I wonder if I can name the other players, you know? Howie? That ain't right. Howie? Howia. Now that's more like it. Oh, I think I can name them or something. I don't know. All right, what do you want me to? Who do you want me to play as now? At this point, uh, here, here's what I was gonna say earlier: is that Kikwan? Why did I bring him up? Oh yeah, he was on head of the class at one point. And um, I don't know. You know, there was an actor from, or maybe two of the actors from head of the class. They ended up becoming big time show creators, but I forgot what shows they created. Uh, should we play this again? I mean, were you able to sort of have fun kind of playing along at home or what? Oh, that's right. They they created Nickelodeon shows, right? The the head of the class people. These, I think it was two head of the class people. It was the heavier set guy and. Um, yeah, they, but they, they became successful as behind the scene people, big time. Okay, we got another poll thanks to Kaiser Bear here. Should we play again? Those are the choices. We'll see what happens. See what. Huh? No, Donkey Lips, that's a whole nother category. That's. That's Solution Shorts and Donkey Lips. I saw this video of him talking about hidden secrets. Remember, I don't know, people might have, if they listen to the Poundcast, they, that kind of came up. Yeah, Dan Schneider, that's his name, yeah. Sorry, I'm kind of, 
sometimes I, I'm saying something and then I see something not related and then I respond to that and it's probably to, for people who are not looking at the chat room it probably doesn't make sense what I'm saying I'm just kind of spewing things out that are unrelated to each other um, all right I guess we should just play um, you know we should play another round of this definitely I was gonna do let's see okay of course one should I play against we'll play again easily and um oh cammy's out of here oh no 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 phil is out of here okay phil is out of here all right phil hope you learned something a little bit about christopher hewitt you know and how he was not at rite aid or thrifties on fairfax and sunset that's where we were fairfax and sunset thrifties as it was known back then and there was a, a heavy set man, and he was pretty tall, and he had a mustache, but he was wearing a tank top and sweatpants. And um, I always like to believe that he was buying Preparation H, but I don't think that was the case. And then, um, I don't know, there's this part of the story that I think is true, but whoever that man was, whether it was Christopher Hewitt or not, and I'm pretty sure it wasn't. Um, oh, who I was going to leave too? Well, at least you got one game in. Um, oh, is Kaiser leaving too? No, no, no. Oh, no, no. Sorry. That's, I keep on seeing. Every time I see somebody saying, I don't, I don't look at the name. I see the, the comment first, and then I look at. The, okay. Sorry. Anyway, um, there's a part of that story where this guy, he went to the ice cream section of, of the thrifties, and he, and he, I don't know. He was ringing the bell or something like. There wasn't an attendant there, um, and he, and then he said something like, "Is somebody, is somebody gonna help me here?" Hello, is somebody gonna help me here? Or something like that, I don't know. See, the thing is, is my sister made stuff up in her head, I think, and I think now I kind of believe what she was saying, I think, a little bit. He was ringing the bell, just really, just demandingly ringing the bell at the ice cream part, and he was going, is somebody gonna help me here? And, um, I don't know. I, all I know is I saw a big guy with a mustache and I told my sister, hey, look, it's Mr. Belvedere. And I kind of made it seem believable. I wanted to believe it was Mr. Belvedere. And she she believed it. And for years I told people, oh, yeah, I saw Mr. Belvedere once at Thrifty as he was buying Preparation H, which he wasn't probably. I don't know what he was buying. He's probably, he probably buying Pepto-Bismol tablets or something. Actually, to be honest, Pepto-Bismol tablets didn't even exist at that point. But he, um, I would tell people this. And then at a certain point, I, I got real with myself. I looked at myself in the mirror and I said, you made that up. That wasn't Mr. Belvedere. That was just a guy with a mustache and who was bigger. Yeah. And I said, you know what? You're right. I did make that up. Um, and then I tried to tell my sister, look, I made that up. That's, that wasn't true. And she said, yes, it was. That was definitely him. She will just not, she will, she always will believe that Mr. Belvedere was there and that he was trying to get, being demanding about the ice cream too. Hey, you know what? Yeah, I mean, look, there is a slight chance it could have actually been Mr. Belvedere. The reason why is, um... The reason I say that is because Mr. Belvedere, I think Christopher Hewitt, I think he did maybe live in West Hollywood. I'm not sure. And this was in West Hollywood. And yeah, and that's basically, um, I don't know. It could make sense that maybe he was in that, you know, that he would go to that thrifties, you know. I wish I could, I wish there was a way of knowing, you know. <clears throat> well, when that, when uh, F.J. Mack said the funniest Weinbach is telling tall tales, they weren't, that person was not referring to me. I think they were referring to my sister, who is very funny. She's very funny. She's definitely up there. She's definitely one of the funniest Weinbachs. I mean, she's she's the funniest person I know, or you know, I or she's she's the funniest person I know. Yes, that is true.
Mrs. I, to be honest, I don't think there was a Mrs. Belvedere. If anything, there was probably a Mr. Another Mr. Belvedere. I think. I think. I think. I'm not sure. But I think he might have been. I don't think he was interested in Mrs. I think. I'm not, I'm not sure though. Christopher Hewitt, that is. Yeah. Hey, you know what? You want a podcast called Weinbach Family Tales? Well, look, I'm thinking about starting a new live show online, a new online live show that is with my sister and me, and it would be weekly, and it would be a live thing on YouTube, and, you know, it'd be kind of like this, it'd be kind of like Twitch, but it'd be, it'd be live on YouTube, and but I'm trying to think about what you know, where it goes and stuff, or what do we do, you know, but anyway, think about doing that, you know, think about trying to get that going, so stay tuned for that, you know, stay tuned for that, but yeah, it it will basically kind of be that, there will be family tales, except it won't, they won't be tall, they won't be tall tales, well, unless in the case of uh, Christopher Hewitt, who I think was tall, see, the thing about it is, this guy at Thrifty's, he was so tall. I just think he was way taller than Mr. Belvedere was. But then again, I looked up Mr. Belvedere's height, and it turned out he was tall. So, I don't know. Could have been him. So, uh, alright, so should we play again, or what? I'm not going to be able to talk, really. I mean, I'm not going to be able to look at the chat room. We do another one okay look you guys want this green i know that this was a i know this was a fan favorite right here this green glasses guy and i will honor that fan favorite so i will i will put him in the mix christopher hewitt is not alive anymore <clears throat> i'm pretty sure that he did live around well, no, I'm not entirely sure, but I think he lived in West Hollywood, and that is in West Hollywood, so I, I think it's it could he could have gone to that. I just it's, it's hard to imagine that Mr. Belvedere would go to Thrifties at Fairfax and Sunset, but then again, I saw Rob Schneider there one time, so anything's possible. I mean, he like I said, he was wearing a tank top and and sweatpants and sandals or something like that. So I don't think he was at the Directors Guild of America. But, uh, you know, the Directors Guild actually had two... That that big building that is you see currently on Sunset, for anybody who knows Los Angeles, and maybe this is not that interesting, but um, in the 1980s, well, the, the first half of the 1980s, the building was actually across the street um, in a sort of red brick building. That's where the director's build used to be. And then it moved into that more modern looking building that you see today. Somewhere somewhere in the in the late eighties it moved over. Yeah. I don't know what Rob was buying, but I imagine it was probably preparation age. Um, no, all I really remember is Rob Schneider came in, and he was with a woman, and the woman, she saw something in the counter, maybe some kind of candy that she wanted, and she said, she said, Rob, look at this, or something like, I remember her saying something like that, she said, Rob, look what they have here. So, I'll play with the green glasses guy. Should we call him Freddy or what? What was he supposed to be? What if his name was Fred's? I mean, what do you what do you guys want him to be called? Bono? How about How about Bone? Okay, I got an idea. You'll see. How about Bo? How about Bone? How about Bone? How about Bone Noy?
Oh, because 80 Wonder said Bono, so I thought... I was going to put bon Bonor, but then I thought, then I saw Bonoy, and I thought, oh, Bonoy, that kind of works. Uh, but I could do, oh, what about Bonob? What about this? Just out of curiosity, I'm just saying, what about this? What about this? I'm just saying, what about this? What about Bonob? But Boner was not on, um, Boner was on uh, Growing Pains, so. though. What do you guys like here? You want Bono? Oops. Bono what about Bonoa? Oh, that's pretty good, Bryshell. He says Bono Bonobes baseball. Yeah, Bonobo, I mean, that sounds kind of like... What about Bonoza? Or Bonozo? Kind of sounds like a clown name, though. Bonobo? Bonobo, that's the guy from Double Dragon, right? What about Bonobi? It's kind of like Shinobi meets Bonobo. Oh no, that's called a Bobo, right? Oh, what's the guy's name? How about Bonoke? Alright, well, let's go. We don't need to do this. I mean, what do you think? What do you guys want? What do you want here? We'll just call him Bono. How about Bonojo? How about actually Binoge? That kind of works. Binoge. Let's do Binoge. Let's just do Binoge. But yeah, actually Bezos is kind of good. Actually, maybe his name should be Bezos. Hey, you know what I'm gonna do? Watch this. I'm gonna change the name of these people. Well, actually, Howie is pretty good. Uh, let's try this. Oh, I can pick who they are, so I can pick all new people. All right, who do you want this to be? This kind of this guy, right? And then, how about we saw Rodent? Oh, you probably want this '80s looking thing, right? Okay, how about that? How about that group? Does that look good? Look good? It look good. All right, guys, I can't really, I'm not gonna be able to look, but look at this. I got a good group of guys here. Let's see what's on channel one here. Still more MTV. It's the Mama Cass. The Mamas and the Papas. That's, that's Big Mama Cass right there. You know, I had a teacher, actually, named Mrs. Cass. It was probably the same person. Yeah, you know what? There's more music questions here, I guess. Let's try it. Let's try more music questions here. It's gotta be Michael Jackson. It's gotta be Michael Jackson. It had to be Michael Jackson, man, my hero. I'm trying to get through all the questions. That's why I'm going quick here. Run DMC. It's gotta be Aerosmith. It's gotta be Aerosmith. I didn't know that Aerosmith was from Boston though. They didn't seem like Boston boys. Ooh, the Cosby, this is my favorite show. Ooh, I don't really know this. It's gotta be Theo. I mean, it wouldn't make sense for Rudy to accept it. I just couldn't fathom that, although that would have been a good story. That would have been pretty funny, actually, if Rudy had to accept the award. Rudy! Root. Huh. Cosby Show, let's do more. I love the Cosby This is one of the best shows of all time. Oh, it's got to be Claire Huxtable. God, oh, real life husband. Oh, it's a mod. It's a mod. I knew that. 
That, I almost, okay. I thought that was, that was actually a harder question than, than I thought it was going to be. Hmm. What? It's gotta be the garage. Oh, it's the basement. Oh, that doesn't make... Oh, that's just kind of weird. I didn't think that. I wouldn't have thought that. I wouldn't have thought that. And you know Felicia Rashad's sister is Debbie Allen, by the way. Oh, this is Cammy likes this channel right here. Look, is it a sport? Is it a sham? Who really cares? He says. Very sardonic, very sardonic, right there. Oh, I know who it is. It's Hacksaw Jim Dugan, right? I don't even know anything about wrestling, and I somehow knew that. You know why I knew that? Is I remember the commercials for the guy had a piece of wood, you know, the the action figures, but. That's not my forte wrestling, so... Oh, Mary, Mary Tyler Moore again? I mean, come on. Oh, boy, Alberto, I don't know this. Okay, it's either Teddy or M Murray now. Wow, they just... They gave it to me on that one. They gave it to me on that one. I just... I wanted to get it so I could stay in control of the board here. Actually, I didn't need to. I could have let it run out, I guess. But all right, so don't pick Channel Four because I don't really know. Okay, Gourmet Channel. Okay, Great Poupon. I'm thinking. It's Bazooka Joe. It's got to be. Oh, gum. It's got to be gum. I mean, making this multiple choice just makes it very easy. So you get it? It's all junk food. You get it? You get it? Um, Cocoa Puffs. What's the name of that mascot who does that? Cocoa Puffs? Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs? How many strips of bacon? Ooh, that's kind of hard to know, actually. I would see... Hmm, I don't know. McDonald's... This game is twisted. Oh, they... Why do you want to go to the Mary Tyler Moore? I mean, gosh. It's not gonna be Ted. I wouldn't know. I just wouldn't know. I hope, she, I hope she just gets off this Mary Tyler Moore right here. I don't want this. Oh, goodness. This is a waste. We, we could be looking at other fun questions, you know? Was that a question from the last game, maybe? I don't know. Man, he kind of dissed them pretty hardcore. He said the best contestants are the are the weirdest looking. Alright, here we go. Reruns. Let's do this. We can do this. Who had the most kids? The Waltons, the Partridge family, or the Brady Bunch? Oof. There's six kids. I just thought, okay, I don't know, messed that up. Really, the Waltons? Okay. Hmm. She better have gotten it right down. All right, get smart. Oh. Gotta be Don Adams. Don Adams, I think. 
got to be Don Adams. <laughs> See, you know, these rounds are, t you know, we wasted all that time on those Mary Tyler Moore questions. And while we could have been looking at... Man, look at this. We could have been spending all this time on those... Look at that. There was three categories we never even got to see. They could have been fun topics like Arnold Schwarzenegger movies or something like that. You know? All right. Let's, let's go here. Let's do this. Oh, Ranger Bob. Oh, I just lose 10 points. Huh. So I just lose 10 points from that. How about that? Six feet. Oh, this is about dead people again here. It is kind of a dark topic, isn't it? This is a bit of a dark topic. Oh, I'm gonna have. To, I'm just. I just kind of guessed F Troop because, to be honest, that's the only show I really kind of was familiar with in that. Got my points back though from Ranger Bob just now. How about that? Oh, the movie channel. See, this is what I wanted. Hopefully, it's about Arnold Schwarzenegger. Okay. Clint Eastwood. Snar again, snarled. It's an again another word. It's used again. It's got to be Dirty Harry. It's got to be. Um, he, it's got to be, uh, what's his name in, uh, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly? I kind of forgot. The Movie Channel, TMC. Remember Joe Bob Briggs driving theater? I mean, that's a dark, that's a dark question. The Laugh a Minute Lives, <laughs> the Laugh a Minute Lives of these heroin addicts. That's really sort. That's actually really pretty dark, man. That's a dark game. This game's twisted. It's twisted. The laugh a minute. Oh man, I don't. It would. I would imagine it to be. Oh, it was a rabbit. Okay, I thought. I mean, I've seen the movie, man. Glenn Close. Um. Oh, it was the dead one again. Oh, it's Joan. Oh, the original one. Hmm. Ooh, I couldn't tell you actually. I couldn't tell you that. Yeah, I mean, I remember the center square in the '80s was used to be Joan Rivers, I think, and then. Jim J. Bullock kind of moved into the center square at one point. It's going to be Groucho Marx. It's got to be Groucho Marx. Okay. Where are we at now? Try some of this. Oh, the Cartoon Channel. You guys like this? The Cartoon Network? Adult Swim? You guys like that, right? You know how I knew that? It's just because I knew it wasn't Inspector Gadget or, or Inspector Clouseau. You know? I, that's the only reason I knew that. TV show. It's gotta be Hee Haw. No, that's wrong, but I think it is. 
Hee Haw is the country show. That was the country show, Hee Haw, remember? I remember that show, Hee Haw. Might as well just get one more cartoon in here, because, you know, it's cartoons. Oh, this is so easy. You're telling me. Heckle and Jekyll. I thought it was Jekyll and Hyde. I thought those were the two chipmunks. Jekyll and Hyde and Jekyll. Ooh, Dr. Blister is one of those special things right here. Some kind of celebrity gossip type thing. This is like uh, some kind of e entertainment news type thing right here. I've heard this. It's, I think, Gerber's. I think. I, I think I heard about this. Uh, let's do this. Oh, another Gilligan's Island? I mean, I'm fine with that, actually. It's gotta be Marianne. You know how the professor is. He liked that hometown kind of look. He liked that kind of... He liked that farm town kind of homegrown kind of look, you know? Ginger's more for, um, Gilligan. Oh, PhD TV. So what are they gonna have, St. Elsewhere kind of questions here or something? I couldn't tell you. Thumb and Louise? Oh, wow. I buzzed in, actually, because... Uh, the reason I buzzed in was because... That's funny that it said Thumb and Louise there. I buzzed in because I thought it wasn't Thelma or Louise. She saved me, actually. Now, oh, back to Gilligan's Island, huh? Thurston Howell... Play. Oh, and the lovey. Huh. I just kind of guessed, in, in a way, I, I can, it sounds like it, right? Wentworth, that sounds kind of rich. Lovey Wentworth Howell, right? Let's see what's on here. Off the Air, oh, this is going to be old shows, maybe. Oh, no, it's, it's time's up. Oh, well. Man, he got blasted just now. Look at that, their faces are all kind of impressed by the, how he got blasted just now. Okay, I like these kind of rounds right here. This is good. <sighs> Science fiction or horror movies and play some of those. Okay. There's usually better versions of this. Ah, oh, couldn't get to it. Oops. Whatever. Um, you know, there was a, there's a, a much, those are not that fun, actually. I mean, those are cool, those are fine, but sometimes they'll do a thing where they'll say, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna name the, uh, Here's a character from a TV show or whatever. Name their job, you know. So, for example, Cliff Huxtable. It, then you know you, you know you put Doctor as the answer and stuff. And that's a kind of more fun version of it. This one was just, it was the same as last time, you know. Um. So yeah, that's that. I mean, I kind of wish you could have seen a play of this one. You know, it was a, that that final round was a little more. It wasn't so easy where it's you have to know the job of a character. That's kind of fun, right? Um, you know, for example, if it was, you know, they, they give you the, uh, you know, whatever. Yeah, so something like that. Anyway, this th those are kind of easy. You know what I mean? The the ones that we saw. So, but anyway, I mean that's it. You know. 
The music didn't get faster though, I think. The music has been the same this entire time. This has been the same music this whole thing, you know? So, um, yeah, that's, that's that, you know, I mean, what do you think, you know? I mean, I kind of, I wish you could have seen a better final round, you know? I wish I could just do only final rounds, just so you can see, you know, it's kind of fun when you have to match the jaw, or something like that, where you... It takes a little more of knowing something, you know? I mean... If you, if you guys wanted to do a round three... If you wanted to do best of three... I would maybe do it. And, you know, we'll just whip through it. I'll just whip through hardcore, you know? If you want to, I mean, if you like this, if you guys are learning trivia here, do you want that? Do you really want that? Let me know. I don't I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to keep you here though, you know? Oh, you really want that. Okay. Are you guys learning? Is this fun for you? Do you like this? Okay, I mean, that's all I want you to do is to learn, laugh, and love. And vote for Angeline retro retroactively, if you can do that. Thank you to Kaiser Bear for setting up these polls. It's like we're having our own election right now. You should have put, um, in round three, you should have put one of the, uh, one of them just say Angeline is one of the choices, but that's all right. I mean, if we should do round three, it's yes, duh, of course, yep, and then it sh or I should have said Angeline. It's kind of weird that Mary Tyler Moore has come up twice, but I mean, I didn't, I never really watched, I never watched Mary Tyler Moore show, but I love the Dick Van Dyke show though. Um, all right, well, let's see. What's the, what are we, do? let's see where we're at. Oh, it won? Okay, it won. All right, well, let's see. Okay. Oh, you got to put that Akuma hair bun. You got to put that preparation H. Well, good luck with the prep, the prep H. All right, who do we play with now? Razzo Rizzo over here, or this? Oh wait, have we ever have I ever played with this guy yet? At this point, I'm probably gonna play with John Fox. He's the only person we haven't really seen a lot of, right? What do you think? Should we do this John Fox looking guy? What are we gonna do? Right, right, right. I mean, I'm saying right to eighty wonder. 80 Wonders Point. But I, I don't know. I mean, if you, have you ever looked at the cover to Anticipation? You know, that's kind of an older group of people. You know, those are people in their 20s and 30s, it seems like. They're not kids. And it seems to me like... I think the game shows were geared towards an older audience, I think. All right, let's. What's this guy? Oh, he, he's already named Pablo. I kind of like that. What do you think, Pablo? And that guy's here. Let's pick a different. Let's get this Michael Jackson-looking thing right here on the. Oh, won't let me pick Michael for that. They won't give me Michael on that. What's up with that? What's up with that? They won't let me pick Michael. Why can't Michael be in this? They won't give me Michael. Who should be in this? The All-Stars? Who should be who should be over here? 
Let's go all stars right here. Let's do that, and then we'll do. Oh, they're only letting me pick that? That's weird. They only let me pick the surfer girl for that for some reason. Oh, you know why? Well, I don't know why, actually. Surfer, oh, the f Surfer, the Freddy guy? For some reason, it only is letting me pick between these two. Depending on who you pick to the left, then the other people, it's just up to something else. I don't know, that's interesting. Let's pick Ratto here, this Ratto guy here. Actually, I should make him be named Susan again, you know? about that? Does that work? Yeah, it must be some kind of color type thing, yeah. Oh, Oakley? Oh. You want who to be Oakley? How do I get out of this here? Let me see. Oops. All right, you ready to ball here? All right, we'll whip through this. We'll just whip through. Oh, I can pause the game. I didn't know that I could pause the game. Look at this, I could pause it. Oh, this whole time I could have been looking at you and talking and stuff. I don't think we ever played with John Fox, actually. I'm glad I picked him. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me! Mary Tyler Moore again? Oh, jeez. I'm just gonna go for it. I just kinda went for it. I just, you know, a 33% chance, you know, so. Just went for it. I just, I wanted, I didn't wanna be stuck on this category if they answered it correctly, so. Ooh, Bon Jovi. I mean, that's a pretty sort of kind of funny thing he said. That's pretty funny, actually. I mean, this is a whole, this whole thing is pretty funny. I mean, look at this. If he, if Dream Squeeze John Bon Jovi... I wish I could... Can I pause this? Yeah. If Dream Squeeze John Bon Jovi wants to become heavyweight champion, he has to fight Mike Tyson, Robin Gibbons, or Robin Gibbons' his mother... That's a pretty, like, I mean, that's a pretty funny, that whole thing is obviously an easy question, but it's a kind of a funny question, right? Robin Gibbons' mother? Let's do this thing again, or Bon Jovi again. If Hunkerific... John Bon Jovi wanted to date the largest mammal on Earth. That is so funny. It Nell Carter, Nell Car. That is such a diss. Oh my God, that is real. That is. Hold on, I gotta pause it on that. Nell Carter. I mean, this game is edgy. I mean, you. I mean, give me a break already, huh? No, but seriously though, I that is kind of that's pretty. Man, that's kind of messed up. They said. They have, they got a blue whale as one of the choices, which, or whatever, and they got Nell Carter? That's just unbelievable. I mean, that is, I mean, what do you guys think about that? Weigh in in the comments. I mean, well, I mean, it's pretty, it's a, it's kind of funny, but it's also, man, that's a diss. I mean, it's funny that they would, the, here's what's funny about it to me, is that they're, in this Nintendo game, that they're, allowed to do that to make fun of somebody that hard you know like that if you wanted to date the largest mammal in the world nell carter i mean what and by the way i like give me the break i uh, give me a break that show and you want a good tv show theme song well the first season of give me a break theme song's really good for season two they redid it and kind of added a little oomph to it but i kind of like that first version more 
And then I think in season four or something, or maybe season three, they completely changed the theme song to a new song. And that's really good also. They're all, all of them, all the versions are good, but I think I like season one the most as far as the, those go. Um, because the first one, the third, the season three one goes, or whatever the new one, the newer one goes, give me a break. And I, da, da, da. You know, it's like that. Um, Nothing can keep me down. Oh, oh, oh. Give me a break. I sure could use one. Give me a break. Give me a break. I finally found, but I something like that. You know, so, give me a break. That's how it ends, too. too. And it always has her making that face at the end. I, I love that face that she makes. She was good in that show. I like that show. Give me a break. But um, the I, I really like the season one version of it, though. That one goes more like this. It goes, um, it goes, uh, give me a break. Dun, 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 dun. Give me a break and let no sin. I finally get a piece of the cake. Give me a break. And they got the saxophone that comes in. I can't remember if that was in this. The saxophone comes in. It's like, it goes, there's a saxophone part that's good. Give me a break. All right. Anyway, you get it. Yeah. And Nell, Nell Carter sang it too. Well, Nell Carter was a multi-talented performer. You know, she was an actress and a uh, bit also a singer. And yeah. But she had an unfortunate, you know, later years, you know, she had problems, uh, substance problems and stuff, you know. This Bon Jovi channel's got some dark jokes. When Cuddle Cake John Bon Jovi, they're really making fun of Bon Jovi here. Oops. I mean, that's... Okay. I like that category because they kind of are making fun of John... Bon John... Oh, man, Ranger... Bo oh, this is, I'm going to get miss uh, points now, I guess, from this. I get lose 10 points. Um... kids get out of the house yeah this this uh, it's twisted it's kind of twisted look he's upset there my guy's upset oh bewitch I don't know well that's a tough that's a tough... I don't know the answer to this. Although, I watched Bewitched a lot, but... It's not Dr. Spot, obviously. I, I could have had a 50-50 chance on that, but... <laughs> that, the, uh, the Bon Jovi thing was funny because... Ooh, M.A.S.H., okay. Hmm. I I don't know. I you know, I haven't really watched a lot of MASH. But you know MASH was on for something like eleven years. I just kind of went fifty fifty on that, you know. Um The uh look at it, been swollen and throbbing. Your brain must have been swollen and throbbing. My brothers have seen every episode of MASH. Even it's eleven years long. <laughs> I mean, I do like the mash music. Oh, I can even pause it during the question. Oh, wow, that's unbelievable. Um, I just wanted to l see what you were saying here. Uh, you know, when I was a when I was a kid, I mean, when MASH came on, I just thought, all right, change the channel. You know, I, saw, I would see that helicopter or whatever. Uh, you know, I thought, change it. But I know that's a good show, and I should probably really watch a, some episodes of it because 
the thing is, is back then military stuff just seemed really boring to me. That's why I wasn't. I didn't like GI Joe, you know, mm-hmm. either. But I love. Yeah, I love the mash theme now. You know. Yeah. Oh, I know this from last the last game. Zoobly Zoo. The answer is Zoobly Zoo. <laughs> I'm gonna go to a different category just to see what else is out there, you know. I just I don't want it to be the same questions as last time. Prime prime oh prime prime time. Oh, I don't know this show at all. I just guessed. There was a 50-50 chance on that point. Yeah. Amen, brother. Amen, brother. <laughs> Still. Oh, I should have went back to the prime time because that would have been... Ooh, I wouldn't be able to tell you that. Okay, I guess it's once then. <laughs> he said that answer was so good it made me feel all tingly inside. That's kind of provocative, I think. Why do they pick the odd couple? I don't really know this. I mean, I just know Wolfman Jack was a was a, was a famous DJ, so you know, it had to have been. That's the only one I knew, so I just figured. All right. Okay, I'm back. Let's go prime time again here. Prime time, prime time. This is prime prime time. Oh. Eh. Ah, I messed that up. It's Blanche, of course, isn't it? Oh, okay. I would have definitely got that all wrong. I don't really know the Golden Girls. I never really watched the Golden Girls, actually. Never even watched that. You guys keeping track of your points, by the way, at home? You doing that? I think that every time you, you keep delving into a, a channel's questions, the points become worth more, I think. Look at their faces. Their faces are going kind of nuts. But um, it gets. I think the questions become worth more points. I think as it gets more into the uh, category. But now point point values are doubled. So beauties and assassins. I mean, I didn't really know the first part of it, but I just, I knew the second part, of course. Everybody knows the second part. But did, did anybody here know the first part of the question? I don't think so. I didn't think so. F oh, Flab TB again, okay. Some of the biggest stars in Hollywood, pound for pound, these are some of the biggest stars in Hollywood. Chunky David Doyle. It was the only one on Charlie, Charlie's A. Okay. It's probably one of the Bosley. It's probably John Bosley. I mean, the answer is just giving it to you, you know? Well, maybe, pretty much. 
I know it's, I know, some of these questions I'm just, you know, I'm getting because of the computer and stuff. Oh, another one of those six feet under ones, All right. You know it had to be Fester. Fester's Quest, Sunsoft. I shouldn't be doing what I'm doing because I can get m max points if I stay on a category. Yeah, that's a little tricky they put Alvin in there, but I knew it was Alvin though. I knew it was Alvin. I just, the reason I'm doing that is to change it up for you, you know? I want to make it exciting for you. That That's why I was changing it up, because I wanted to give you a variety of stuff. I enjoy watching Cisco and Evert, even though I don't like to make criticisms of things publicly myself. I th it is fun to watch those guys. I, I, it's fun to hear them talk with each other. <laughs> this question again, huh? The Hogan family. You know, the Hogan family was actually called Valerie's family before it was called the Hogan family. And before that, it was called Valerie. I'm trying to get max points over here. I should have been doing that this whole time. Man, we're getting repeat questions over here. But look, the order's different. They've changed up the order. Because remember, I remember Theo was on the bottom last time. I, I got to change it up for you guys. You don't want all this, right? You don't want all this. I'm hoping I get a good bonus round at least this time, you know? More prime time. Ooh, Star Trek The Next Generation. Worf. I think it's... Oh, I don't know. I don't know Star Trek that well. It's Klingon. I guess it's Klingon, huh? Oh, Romulan. Is that... That must be... Is that Spock's clan? Is he Romulan? Is Spock a cl Romulan, maybe? You know, the my character, he looks like um, Billy Idol. Oh, Spock's a Vulcan, okay. Um, so, oh, back on the Cosby, she's trying, to, she's trying to get that big money right now. Combustible Huxtable. That makes sense. It makes sense that it would be Cliff Huxtable. I should have got that. Oh, back on this. Some oh, beauties and assassins. Oh, I just wouldn't know. Uh, Ryan O'Neill. I was thinking it was Fair Fawcett, but I just didn't know for sure. You know. So is Tatum O'Neill the, the daughter of Farrah Fawcett, or no? That's a question for you. I'm trying to go for this big money right here. Couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you. Ward Cleaver? Billy Bob Thornton. Killed his mom with a sling blade. They just love this this dead people category here. I didn't think he has... He doesn't have big ears. 
I mean, he doesn't have big ears. Big eared actor? Clark Gable doesn't have big ears. I don't know. I never noticed his ears. Maybe I should pay atten more attention to his ears next time. I watch that stuff. The Bat Channel. See, you guys wanted this. You wanted in some new questions here. That one guy, that one rodent looking guy would have loved this. I don't, I didn't know anything about Manny the Mesopotamian. I just knew about Take My Wife. Boris and Natasha. Oh no, never mind. I mean, I know it wasn't. It just had to be Mr. Big, and it had to be. It had to be. I knew it was gonna be off there. I knew it was gonna be off there. All right, here we go. Hopefully, we're gonna get a good uh, bonus round here. Hopefully it's a fun bonus round where it's the kind of thing where you have to match something with the right thing in a fun kind of way that you can enjoy at home. Good riddance, the guy says to that. Good riddance. Oh, what? Okay. This is kind of an interesting category. Uh, ugh. Where is it? Parboiled? Oh, I know. Uh, oh no, I didn't know. Oh my, he's going so quick! Uh. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Oh, it's gonna, it mash. Uh, it, it's a uh, no, no. Uh, happy days. Oh my gosh, man! I did not do well on that, but man, hey, I liked that. That was a cool category. I didn't, but that was a cool category. But I, hmm, I like that category. I didn't do well on it, but that was a cool category. That was a cool category, but I, or that was a cool bonus round, but I didn't, I didn't do well on it though. Okay, okay, so be it, so be it. Lily Sobieski. Okay. So, uh, there you go. Well, hopefully that was exciting for you and that you learned something and that you laughed something and yeah, it was a journey for us all, I think. Um, look, if you like this kind of thing, then you can, you can follow for free here. You can, and I don't think this is a team fat joint. What is this? Uh, Flab TV? Is that why you're asking me that? Um, high tech expressions. I want to say. Well, they just published the game. Um, I want to say that. Uh, what's it called? I mean, M Mark Van Heck was worked at high tech expressions, but that might not be true, though. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. You know, I can look it up though if you want. It's definitely, I mean, I tell you this, it's definitely not a Team Fat joint, though. I, you, you would know what a Team Fat sounds like. Um, so, yeah, if you uh, want to, um, you can follow along for free, and then, I don't know, it's supposed to give you notifications when we do this kind of thing, but I don't know, it doesn't always work out that way, of course. Um, Rally Spirit says, only two days left in September. If you like it enough, you can subscribe, and it's kind of, like a show that you're you know paying to see which is kind of cool like you know and, and appreciate it and thank you to anybody who did subscribe and or tipped 
as well. Um, and um, if you want to see past episodes, you can go to the highlight. You know what you can also check out in the highlight section here is you can check out little clips. I'll sometimes make clips of the games that we that I play and little kind of funny little moments maybe. And there's clips there. And also other people can make clips too. If you were to make a clip, the way it works is if you like a moment, you can do clip on the thing. But a lot of times people will just clip it and then they won't title it and it'll just be a whole 30 seconds. You can edit the clip kind of. You can make it so that it's just the part you want to show. So it's not the whole 30 seconds. And you can also title it too. So, you know, you can give it a little title so it doesn't just say the title of whatever the, the thing is. Um, so you can do that. Um, sometimes I think people do that and they don't even know what that is and they just do it. But um, but anyway, you can check out clips. And then what else? You can do, uh, you go, if you wanted to see uh, some other stuff, you can go to youtube.com slash Legacy Music Hour and you can um, see past episodes there as well as the highlight section here. And um, and uh, you can also go to patreon.com slash Legacy Music Hour for other ones there. Yeah, the dog is just, the dog is loving the clips right now. The dog, once I mentioned it, the dog checked out the clips and was just, that was the dog laughing actually and being excited about some of those clips. If you go to the channel's clips here, you can see, you know, you can see, uh, you can see all those clips. Um, Let's see here. So yeah, Wonder Swan, you got the PVM, that's pretty nice. You got the Sony PVM, that's pretty nice. Um, I think you can do a thing where you can capture the video from that directly so you don't have to shoot the TV, I think. Because I think Gabe does that, my friend Gabe, who comes on here sometimes. He um, he has a PVM and he he'll, somehow he captures the video from the PVM and he doesn't need to, uh, you know, and he doesn't shoot the TV screen with the camera. But you also said that your webcam is no good for showing the screen uh, as more of an novelty. Well, I'll tell you this, the webcam that I use here for this is not the, it's not the newest webcam out there and it's not, it's an older webcam and it's uh, also, but I use a program that I downloaded called Webcam Settings and that allowed me to make some adjustments that made it so the picture looks pretty good as you see it right now. So for one thing, the exposure time, generally I have that at 333 um, and that's, you'll, you won't see any refresh lines that way. Um, and if you mess with the saturation and the sharpness and the contrast and the brightness, well actually the brightness you don't need to mess with, but the contrast and saturation and sharpness, you can make it look pretty good over the camera, in case you're interested. Uh, oh, so you got the you got the video capture and you shoot showing the screen too. That's pretty neat. And uh, this is Macintosh. Macintosh. The that's yeah, webcam settings for Macintosh. Oh, that's right. And on the Patreon, Gabe, Gabe, he has, he has stuff up there, and he played through Arrow, Arrow Fighters, I think it is, for the Sega Saturn, I think. Oh yeah, I don't know about the Windows thing, but, anyways, uh, enough of all that, I think. Unless you guys have any other questions, but, um, yeah, that's MTV's Remote Control, third time's a charm. Although I think my best score was the previous game. I think I got three hundred. Um, it's interesting how it when you win this game, you turn into the TV, basically. 
you demonstrated so much knowledge of TV that you become TV. And that's why it's, you know, that you replace the TV in, in MTV is because it's, you became TV. That's kind of interesting, right? But, um, all right, thanks for everyone for tuning in. And um, next week's game, well, I seem to be doing this every two weeks now, uh, so it's every other week. But um, I don't know, i got to find something. Maybe I'll try to do, I don't know, maybe try to play double dribble or something like that, but do it versus Gabe or something like that, maybe, where he plays double dribble also and then i'll play double dribble on my screen but we'll pick different teams and we'll just see who gets the most points maybe or something like that um i haven't played double dribble in a long time but maybe double dribble could be fun i don't know yeah if we can get rob commentating that would be great if you can um but uh yeah i think that's gonna be about it um oh i guess if you want to oh another way you can get notifications by the way is twitter Brent Weinbach is is where you can find me on Twitter. And um, I usually mention it on Twitter. So you can go there. And uh, I think that's about it. So once again, my name is Brent Weinbach. Thanks again for watching. Good night.